Hi everybody, this is Dan with the Boys and Girls Club, and I'm here again today with another Pokemon video. Now in this one, we're going to go over something that's pretty simple to the game, but it's very important that you learn how to do it properly so you can play it right. And that would be evolving your Pokemon in the game. Now, the typical question that comes up when players is first starting to learn this is, I have this really strong Pokemon that's like unbeatable and super powerful, and it evolves from two other guys, so it must be super strong. Can I play it on the first turn? A lot of people get those cards and are like, awesome, I can use it and I'll never lose. But that's not quite exactly how those cards work. So today I'm going to give you a quick example of how to actually play the cards properly. Now, for example, I have a setup mock board right here so you can see what it might look like during a regular game. If you look on the field, we have Galarian Zigzagoon. And as we went over in an earlier video, if you look on the top left corner of the card, you'll see the word basic. That means that this Pokemon doesn't evolve from any of our cards in the game. Now we're going to take a quick look at my hand and see what we have. Now if you notice, we just happen to have the two Pokemon that Zigzagoon evolves into in my hand. We have Linoon and Obstagoon. Now, a common mistake is when the game starts, a player might put Linoon out first and be like, I wanted to play him, he's stronger than Zigzagoon. But like we went over, that's not how it works. The way to tell is that you look on the top left part of every card. You're going to see two things. You're going to see the term Stage 1, and you're going to see the Pokemon it evolves from. So, it even says right there, Evolves from Galarian Zigzagoon. Now you can look at the name on the card on the field, and if it matches, you're in the clear. So what happens is, on your second turn and going forward, remember, you can't do this on your first turn, I can take Galarian Linoon from my hand, and all I do is I place it on top of the Zigzagoon. This means that I have evolved that Pokemon. Now Linoon completely releases replaces Zigzagoon. They don't get stronger, they don't combine their attacks and health. It's a brand new card, but the only thing it carries over is any damage that Zigzagoon had already taken. So now, alright, you've got a stronger Pokemon on the field, and if you look, it says Stage 1. What that means is that this is the first time it's evolved. So you go Basic to Stage 1, but some Pokemon, especially the super strong ones, have Stage 2s, such as Obstagoon. Now, if you look in the corner, very similar thing. It says Stage 2, Evolves from Galarian Linoon, which we have. Now, if you're lucky enough to get this guy in the next turn, or you started with him, you have to wait a turn. You cannot evolve twice in one, in one turn to the same Pokemon. Now, I have two Zigzagoons, so if I wanted to evolve both of them into a Linoon on the same turn, I can do that as long as I have two Linoon cards in my hand. I have two Obstagoons, but I only have one Linoon to evolve from. So once again, I check, the names line up, and so a turn goes by, and then I do the same thing I did earlier, is place the card on top of Linoon. Now Obstagoon is on the field instead, and the same rules apply. All the damage is carried over, but other than that, it's treated as a completely new card. Now once again, just some quick reminders, this does not require any energy to be on the card to do, and that evolving a Pokemon doesn't mean it can't attack on the same turn. However, you can only evolve one type of Pokemon per turn, so I can't evolve the guy on my field twice. However, I can evolve multiple people in one turn. So if I had a, a Zigzagoon here, and I had one here, I can evolve both of them on the same turn, but I can't do two to one. That's really all there is to evolving. It's a really useful skill to make stronger Pokemon on the field. It takes a bit of patience, but once you figure it out, the game really opens up. Once again, this has been Dan from the Boys and Girls Club, and I'll see you soon.